Good morning, boys and girls. Mrs. Heidemann here. Today we are looking at lesson 11. And lesson 11's learning objectives are students will identify, act out, draw pictures, and write number sentences for various types of story problems. So, so far we've talked about addition story problems, so starting with some, adding some more, and we've talked about subtraction story problems, having some and then some went away, okay? So, the fun thing about story problems is you can make them about anything you want to, anything you want, as long as they stay in the parameters of St. Cyril's school rules. Okay, when I think of a story, I can think of any characters I want. We can go any places, just like a storybook that you would pick up. All right, so let Mrs. Heidemann think. I'm thinking about, oh, I got it. You wanna know what it is? I won tickets to go to my favorite rock band. <gasps> And I think you guys know them as well. The Joe Bros, the Jonas Brothers. I got to take Isabella, Robert, Fernando, Riker, Ava, Mitchell, Victoria, Alex, Janice, and Elena. I got to take 10 students. Oh my goodness, it was the best. Well, it was gonna be the best show. Because guess what? Mrs. Heidemann won eight more tickets and I got to take eight more students. So I got to take so I got to take Emma, Serafina, Clark, Emilio, Juliana, Harry, Jackson, and Eugene. We had the best time ever. We even got to go backstage. So if we think about what type of story problem this is, we started out with some students going to the concert and then some more got to go. So we had 10 students plus eight students equals 18 students, some, some more. Okay, the next story that I'm gonna create, I won tickets to an amusement park. Are you ready for this one, boys and girls? Okay, I won eight tickets to the best amusement park in the whole wide world. Eight tickets. I got to take Justin, Dutch, Laurel, Aaliyah, Angelina, Marcus, Ava and Nia, eight students. But you know what, boys and girls? Three students didn't feel so well. The roller coaster was a little bit fast. So Nia, Ava, and Marcus had to sit out for a little while. So what kind of story problem is that? Is that a sum, some more, or a sum, some went away? Well, if students had to sit out, then it's a sum, some went away. So we started with eight students and we subtracted three students. So we were left with five students, okay? But then they felt much better and got to enjoy the whole trip with us. They got to go on all the roller coasters two more times. Okay, third scenario. Who likes candy? Mrs. Heidemann does. Mrs. Heidemann knew someone that owned the best candy shop in the whole wide world. I got to take, oh my goodness, you ready for this? Nine students. I got to take Gracie, Luis, Bassett, Madison, Ben, Gabby, Dylan, Roman, and Knox to the best candy store ever. They let us take as much candy as we wanted after we ate what we wanted. It was so marvelous. Okay, well, you know what? Roman and Knox ate a little too much, so their parents came to pick them up a little bit early. I think they had a little too much sugar. So we started with those nine students, and then two didn't feel so great, so they had to leave. So we had nine minus two, and that equaled seven. But you know what, boys and girls? My last story problem starts with five students, the five students that missed out on the best amusement park and the best, best 
candy store and those five students I got to take to the front row seats of the most amazing talented basketball players in the best game ever. Those students were Nia, Eva, Marcus, Knox, and Roman. Those five students. We sat front row, front and center, and got to see all the action. Uh-oh, but you know what? Roman got a ball in the nose. It bounced right up and hit him in the nose. So he had to go. They took him. They saw the doctor. His nose was bleeding. So one had to leave. So we started with five and then one left five students minus one students it's a sum some went away story problem five students minus one student left us with four students but the good news is is that they let roman um go and meet all the players and they gave him a basketball and everyone signed it so it was a happy ending indeed all right boys and girls we're going to take a look at a couple more story problems so stay with me all right, the first story problem that we're going to take a look at is a simple sum some more, all right? And Mrs. Heidemann is not an amazing artist. And I don't have time to draw amazing illustrations. So I'm just going to use little smiley face to represent these children. Three children went to the store. Two more children met them there. How many children are at the store? So. It's a sum, some more, and here's why. We started with three children, and I'm gonna illustrate that sum by drawing three smiling ch uh, children. So one, two, and three. Then in the second part of the story, two more children met them. So I'm gonna divide those first three children, some children, with a little divider, and then I'm going to add two more children, okay? And again, Mrs. Heidemann is not an amazing artist. So three children plus two children, you guys know, of course, equals five children. But the important takeaway here is you need to have the correct labeled number sentence, okay? So three children plus two children equals five children and children should be spelled correctly because it is in the um, story problem multiple times so i do expect that word to be spelled correctly okay be resourceful all right there's our number sentence let's look at another story problem read along with me one child went to the library two children met them there how many children are at the library? I guess it's fine, them, there. All right, so we have one child, sum. So we're gonna separate that because that was the first instance. And then we have two more children that met that person there. So we have one child plus two children. And you guys can see that it's a sum, some more, okay? So our number sentence would be one child plus two children. And again, you guys know what that equals. It's three children. But the important takeaway is that you are labeling each part, each part. And here is why. When we start doing multiplication, one group of three cans or six groups of seven candies. So it's, it's, it's going to come in handy when we're doing um, more challenging activities instead of just addition and subtraction, okay? All right, next one. Five children went to the movies. Three children were hungry, so they left to buy popcorn. How many children are still, still watching the movie? So we started off with five children and then three children left to go buy popcorn because they were hungry. So let's take a look at what a sum, sum went away story problem would look like. So here we have five smiling children's faces and then we're going to X them out. 
they left to go buy popcorn. So we are left with just those two children. Now, you guys know this is subtraction. So we start with five children. Make sure you have that word there. And then we're going to subtract two children and, or excuse me, three children. And you guys know that leaves us with just those two, All right? Children, my children minus three children equals two children. All right, excellent, good. Start thinking of scenarios for yourself for writing story problems because you're going to be writing one next week. There are five books on my desk. I took one book back to the library. How many books are still on my desk? Okay, so I want you to think of what kind of story problem that is. Starting with five, took one back to the library. So here we have our five books. And then to show that we took one book away, we're going to X that one out. So when we write our labeled number sentence, we're going to have five books minus one book equals, and then five minus four, or excuse me, five minus one, you guys know equals four, and it needs to be labeled books. All right, so please remember, boys and girls, start thinking about a uh, story problem topic because there are all sorts of things you can write about. Here are just a couple ideas to help you think of maybe one or two. All right, see you in our live session. Bye-bye.